I don't think I have to introduce myself. Up to now, everybody knows me, like I say all the time. I'm Teresa from the Ravioli House. Do you know me? I think so. But still, I'm Teresa from the Ravioli House. And today, I would really, eh, everybody enjoy making bresciolo with me. It's not an easy job. And a lot of people, they don't like to make it. But if you watch me today, it's very simple and easy to do it. If I start, I'll let you just enjoy all my meat on the table. Brajol, it's a piece of, it's a piece of steak. Cut a real thin, you try to layer, and then you get all the season, like I'm doing right now. Okay. I start with cheese. It's pecorino romano. You're gonna sprinkle your cheese. Don't, don't overdo it. If you think that you put extra cheese, it's gonna taste better. It's not. It's get too salty and the meat gets very dry. The cheese take all the fat from the meat. The next, parceling. Like I said, don't overdo it. Now in this container, even if I'm on television, it doesn't make no difference for me. In here I put salt, or um, garlic, and black pepper. Uh, I, don't, I can use the little bowl. I, can, I don't have to be fancy. That's me at the ravioli house. Here we go. A lot, a lot of restaurants, they don't work with brajoli. They told me I'm crazy because it's a lot of work to make. But I'm old fashioned. I still work with brajoli. I still make everything the old fashioned way. Now, the meat is coming from West Side. It's local. Very good meat. It's fantastic on this. Sometimes they're not heavy enough because my brajoli, they're eight ounces. So I just get another one and I roll them. This, it's my scale. If I put them on the scale, this meat, it's eight ounces. I'm so used to make after 38 years that I don't need a scale. This, it's the brajol. Just look, it's easy. Then have the right side. Here we go. That's a brajol. Like you know, this is the ravioli house. You know me, like I say all the time. People, they stop me on the street just to say, I know you. And I hand them back, yes, I know you do. It's my way to say. We locate on New Jersey and Bennett. We don't just make a brajol. We have all different kind of meat, veal, chicken. It's a lot of work, but like I said, it's a lot of fun, especially with all my guys all the way around. Another thing, I have a special knife for brajol. If these guys lose this little knife, they're in trouble. Because now I'm gonna show the way I finish the brajol. All right. A lot of people, they told me, why don't you use two pigs? I'm, I'm afraid. Down is true, I'm afraid because the guys, they're so busy in the kitchen. When they serve the brajol, they can leave the two pigs inside and that's the problem. So I go like this, one, two, and three. When the guys serve this, they just go like this. One, two, three. It is enough? Yeah. You can try. The meat we use at top of the run. It's very tender. After this, it's been cooked in the sauce. It don't even overcook because it gets, it gets very small, the brajol, and it's not more that's the brajol. It's more on the soft side that they don't taste too good. It's easy to make a brajol, I think so. Now, let me tell you another thing. What it goes good with brajol and sauce, besides the ravioli, spaghetti, um, manigotti, I think the best.